Hello. In this video, we're going to have a look at the risk assessments in Health and Safety Expert. Get into the risk assessments. From the main project screen, you click on the uh, Risk Assessments tab. This will give you the list of risk assessments which are applicable or may be applicable to your project or to the build phases if you have imported the job from Estimator Express. Now you're not going to require all these risk assessments, so you still need to do some selection yourself. To do this, you would maybe have a quick review of the risk assessments on screen, then work out which ones you require, and then you can print or export. So if I want to export some risk assessments, I can click on the export button. And I can then go through the risk assessments, which all start with reference of RA, and choose the ones that I think I need for the job. Etc. So normally you would spend a little bit of time on this, choose the 30 or 40 that you may need and print them out. You can of course do this one at a time or you can do multiple ones and you can export them or you can print them straight to your printer to produce a hard copy. Now the actual risk assessments yourself, if you're not quite sure of the content, you can click on one and then click on preview. And there you can see the text content, fairly simple one there with bulldozers. And if you want to, you can actually also edit them. So if we choose bulldozers again, and then on the right hand side, click on the edit button. This then brings up the risk assessment screen and allows me to edit the content. So I could get some of the existing text and add some more text. Okay. and then save this. Or I can actually add more activities. Now to do so, if I right click, I can add a hazard. This then gives me a new box, so I can add in details, chance, the scale of the injury, which will give a score, and I can then fill in the appropriate control measures with any other comments. So we put in them at the hazard, what will happen should the hazard occur? What is the likelihood of this? Quite common. How hazardous? Well, if we're talking about a bulldozer, definitely at least a level 6, probably a fatality, possibly even multiple fatality, but let's go with a level 6. That will then give us a score. We then put in our control measure. Obviously, you'll use real ones for this. And with your control measure, it means that you now make it, for example, unlikely. However, the level of the actual injury will still remain as a 6, just giving you a score of 12. Remember, with risk assessments, it's about reducing the risks. At the end of the day, if a bulldozer runs somebody over, it's going to hurt. What you're trying to do is avoid that happening. And you put in the comments in here. Once you have modified the risk assessment, you can click on the Save As button, and you have several options. You can save this as a new document, it, or whenever you edit one of our risk assessments, it always gets generated as a new one. You then have the option to leave our original one as the default document or to replace the original one and set your new modified one as your default bulldozers document. Or you also have the option to actually bring both of them in. So when you create a project and it is a type of project or it is a build phase coming from Estimator that requires a bulldozer, you can choose whether to leave the original risk assessment as the default to set your new risk assessment as a default, or in fact to actually have both, so you can choose between the two. On certain sites, there may be different risks, which is why you've done modified risk assessments. So all of these situations could be relevant to you. You would choose what is relevant. Typically, I would expect that you'd probably use the new document as your default, and then click OK. 
You can also create your own risk assessments from scratch. So you can click on the new button and you can then fill in a risk assessment in its entirety. It's basically a case of run through each section. Remember to add more hazards, you simply right click here in the box and then click on the add hazard button. And you see it keeps adding further hazards. So each row allows you to put in a hazard, a risk, a control measure and any comments. Now the other thing of course is that whilst we have created this risk assessment list as the default set of risk assessments for this type of job, if you click on the add button it will show you all the risk assessments we have not included. So there may be some in here that you might actually want to add to this list. It's always worth having a quick look on the add button to see if there's any of the risk assessments that we've omitted that you might want to add to your project. They of course will then be in the list and allow you to print them. And that is the risk assessment section completed.